So once I've created these um, indexed series, I can now refer to the items on the series by either the uh, numeric uh, index or by the string label index. So if I run this, I can see that item number one, which is spider, is in the group arachnid. And then the item label B is in the group insect. So I can refer to them either by their numeric or by their uh, label index. We can also slice a series just like we can slice lists or ND arrays, but we now have the choice of either slicing them by, nu by numbers or also by their labels. And we'll see there's um, several ways, that, uh, several variations on this. If we slice by number, it works exactly the same way as lists and ND arrays. The first number before the colon is the starting position of the slice, and the end of the slice is one number less than the second number, which is the strange but typical behavior that we see in Python. We can also pass in in, inside the square brackets an actual list of the labels that we would like to be included in the slice and they can be in any order. So if I say I would like the slice to contain the worm, spider, and lizard items, then you see I get those particular selected items out in the order that I listed them. I can also ask for a range of items using the labels. And the interesting thing is now that this, when I use the labels, the second label is inclusive. In other words, it doesn't do the one less thing like I saw with the numbers, but actually it includes the first item all the way through the last item. And I see that I get three um, items in the output here instead of only two. Another important thing to realize is that the labels that are assigned to a series carry over into any kind of derivative series that we create out of those series. So for example, let's imagine that I'm going to take photographs of, I'm gonna take two photographs of each leg of the animals in this group. And so if I want to do a, a calculation on the number of photos that I will take of each group, I could multiply by two. And this of course would be a vectorized operation. So it's gonna be carried out on all four of my groups at once. Um, and when I run this, I see that my output uh, series that I've generated also has the same labels as the series that I input uh, to create the output series. So the carryover of labels is another important feature of series.